Security is being ramped up across the city after federal officials announced Thursday that New York and Washington, D.C. could be under terrorist crosshairs following what they say is a credible threat. Sources tell the Daily News that officials are focused on three seasoned al-Qaeda operatives who most likely were personally dispatched by the organization's new chief. There are suggestions that the operatives were planning the strike for Sunday, the 10-year anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Because the three would-be terrorists have common names, cops have been unable to pinpoint their exact location. The operatives are allegedly targeting transit hubs with car bombs and not a chemical attack or so-called nuclear lace dirty bomb. Cops and feds have conducted bomb sweeps in garages in both cities. Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly said the NYPD will dispatch additional police cruisers with license plate reading technology. He also said New Yorkers should expect to see more bomb-sniffing dogs, checkpoints, officers with radiation-detecting equipment, as well as a heightened police presence at city tunnels, bridges, and landmarks. New Yorkers going to and from work today remained cautious. I mean, I guess it makes me feel a little nervous, but I don't really... Sometimes I think it's, there's a lot of hype around it, and that makes everyone a little bit more scared than they should be. Well, I don't think anything's going to happen, really. I think that it's good that they take the precaution, and it makes me feel actually safer, but I don't think anything's going to happen, so... I think they're taking the proper steps to doing what they need to do, but I just feel like right now it's overrated. I mean, do the security, but don't over-exaggerate on it because it creates more fear. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg said the best way to fight terror is to not be intimidated by it. He also said that while security is being beefed up around 9-11, the city remains safe at all times.